in this video we are going to discuss Laplace transform of a special shifted signal. So here you can observe the problem find Laplace transform of the signal x of t is equal to e power minus 2 t u of t minus 1. So after observing the problem in the exams gate like technical exams initially you are going to feel very happy that we know the formula of e power minus a t u of t actually I given in the last class I given so many Laplace transform page in that I given so many combinations of exponentials and unit steps. So hi, how I given means e power minus a t u of t or e power plus a t u of t or e power plus a t u of minus t or e power minus a t u of minus t like that I given. But here you are having shifting of unit step function. Then how will write? In options they will give like this also. Generally if they given e power minus 2t u of t find the Laplace transform of e power minus 2t u of t as I told you in the last class whenever you saw e power minus 2t exponential multiplication with unit step you need to write 1 by s plus a form that means whenever you saw minus here and you need to write plus here. The Laplace transform for this function is 1 by s plus 2 but they are not asking what is the transform of e power minus 2 t u of t they are asking what is the transform of e power minus 2 t u of t minus 1 definitely they will mark this transform like s plus 2 s minus 1 like that they will give 1 by s plus 2 at t is equivalent to 1 like that they are going to give if they directly given this you can solve the problem in one fraction of second by using this shortcut but whenever they given like that with shifting in any one of the combination of exponential or unit step maximum they will give shifting in unit step only so in these cases we need to make use of time shifting property of Laplace transform that's why in both Fourier transforms and Laplace transforms in gate like technical exams properties plays a major role by using properties by combining two three properties we can solve a problem within fraction of second every time when you are writing technical exam means you need to think in terms of properties only when you are given with a problem you need to apply you need to search two or three properties which can be applicable for that problem so here when i saw shifting there then i i got a thought if up if I applied any time shifting property then I will get the result within 2 minutes otherwise if you do not know the direct transform if you do not know the direct shortcut what we are going to do usually what we are going to do is we are going to consider Laplace transform equation that means x of s is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt this is the usual Laplace transform equation to get Laplace transform or spectrum of any signal x of t. You will consider this x of t here and you are uh, going to change the limits and you are going to uh, apply transforms and everything. But if you know time shifting property of Laplace transform that means what is time shifting property first of all time shifting property in Laplace transform so time shifting property in Laplace transform states that if x of t is having Laplace transform x of s then shifted version of x of t by t naught seconds will give Laplace transform e power minus s t naught into x of s so if you delay t naught seconds then the Laplace transform of actual signal will changes like multiplication with decaying exponential with power e power minus s into that delay. So here if you consider plus here you will get plus here. If you consider minus here you will get minus here. So now based on this property I want to solve that problem. I am going to consider my signal x of t as e power minus 2t u of t minus 1 this is my signal I want to write this signal like this e power minus 2 
into t minus 1 plus 1 into u of t minus 1. So, here you can see in this exponential I want to keep as it is of t minus 1 and I want to take the remaining out. So, here the remaining is after keeping t minus 1 here remaining is e power plus 1 multiplied with this e power minus 2 e power minus 2 into e power minus 2 into t minus 1 into u of t minus 1. You can see I just separated this minus 2 into 1. Why I written like this means I want to take my time period similar to unit step function. I want to make the time period of this exponential also similar to this unit step function. That is why I am multiplying something e power minus 2 here. So, here if this is x of t, if you consider Laplace transform, if you are asked to find out Laplace transform of x of t, this is a constant, d power minus 2 is a constant. So, that constant I am taking out Laplace transform of e power minus 2 t minus 1 into u of t minus 1. So, here I want to apply this property. So, here t naught you are taking as 1. Without that t naught, your signal is without that minus 1, your actual signal is e power minus 2t, e power minus 2t, u of t. This is your signal without that t naught value, that means minus 1 value. That means I am considering this as x of t. I am considering this as x of t. For this x of s, that means you know x of s direct Laplace transform. Whenever you are having e power minus, then you can directly write s plus 2. So, now here if you know x of s for x of t, you can write x of t minus 1. If x of t is this, x of t minus 1 means in t place if you get t minus 1, you are going to get this only. So, Laplace transform of x of t minus t naught shifted version of x of t when x of s is known means e power minus s t naught into x of s. This is our x of s 1 by s plus 2. Now you need to write the transform of this as e power minus 2 into so here e power minus s into t naught means t naught place is 1 into x of s means 1 by s plus 2. So, here you can see finally I am writing e power minus 2 t u of t minus 1 is having Laplace transform. Here I am taking common of that minus. So, I am going to get e power s plus 2 by s plus 2. For example, in any cases in any exam they ask like this e power minus a t u of t minus 1 then e power s plus a by s plus a like this you need to answer. So, here for example, if you are given with t minus 2, what will happens you need to consider t minus 2 plus 2. So, if you consider t minus 2 plus 2 you will get minus 4 out. So, when you got minus 4 out then it Finally, also you are getting minus 4 out. So, same process you need to follow whether shift is shift delay is changing or exponential power value is changing the process must be same. So, like this way for explaining this may take in 5 minutes but when you apply this property you will get your answer within 1 minute. So, that means by observing itself you need to write x of s and you are having shift means you need to write down the steps within fraction of seconds and after that you need to apply time shifting property. So, you are going to get e power minus 2 t u of t minus 1 Laplace transform as e power s plus 2 by s plus 2.